anyway. <laughs> yeah, doing everything, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh man. After I got the first Everesting in 2015, I was like one and done. Um, I should have known better uh, with my mentality and the way I, I think about things later on. I should have known that that wasn't going to be the last one because um, soon after, you know, months after and, and, you know, all of that wears off, all the, you know, just excitement and everything of what you just did finally wears off and you're left at back at, at the start again. And, you know, it's, it, you know, you live in a world of what have you done for me lately and, um, in my mind, I'm always just trying to push the boundaries and, and do something that I haven't done before. Um, you know, doing another Everesting, this one, um, just basically getting out there and getting to prove to myself again, and then just kind of leveling up that platform of like, hey, this is, you know, this is ultra distance cycling. This is pushing yourself to the limits. Um, this is something that's out there for you if, if that's what you choose. Um, and yeah, just, you know, pushing the whole cycling agenda. We want to we wanna see people on bikes. We want to see people smiling. We want to see people um, setting goals and setting them high and then going after those goals and crushing them and getting that uh, sense of joy. And I feel like after you do something like an Everesting, uh, you know, people who ride across, race across America, I'm sure they get this. Um, but man, you're crazy. You're insane. Uh, those are going to be things that people say to you. Um, in reality, really, all you are is different. Um, and that's what we're trying to do, you know, trying to just do something that does blow people's mind, does make them think like, wow, that's crazy. I wonder if I could do something like that. Um, so doing a challenge like this just, you know, continues uh, to help me prove to myself and hopefully prove to others that, you know, the, the human spirit, it, it's, it's one tough rock and, you know, it's really hard to crack, um, especially if, you know, you use your mind, use your heart, and you can overcome anything. And that's what the Everesting Challenge really is. Um, so, yeah, uh, you know, be different. Dare to, you know, go and ride your bike throughout the night or do that 24-hour mountain bike race that you've always wanted to do or, you know, go ride a century ride or 50 miles or whatever it is. Um, you know, just get up every day and, and be different and chase your dreams and chase your goals. Find some people who are going to help you do that, too, because you're going to need some help along the way. All right, awesome. Well, yeah, along with Moab, um, I had a lot of support from Brendan and Patrick over at Evoke Bike uh, with their coaching and their knowledge. Um, super privileged to be able to work with those guys and, you know, pick their brains and, you know, just have that whole wealth of knowledge at my dispense. Um, so thank you, Brendan. Thank you, Patrick. And let's keep riding bikes, man. Let's go. That's good. Right on. <laughs>